space program really harvesting moon energy. In theory, yes. Tidal energy is predictable because the tides are actually controlled by the moon. So that means what we do is actually moon energy right here on Earth. And we call this the Faroe Island Space Program. So let's first go to Monesto because uh, we're quite excited. I don't know if the camera can see it, but there's a, a yellow copy of a rather bigger uh, machine Correct. that's doing some amazing things uh, in the North Sea. Um, tell us what this creation is, what it's doing, and what it can do for society and maybe even climate change. Perfect. So uh, Monesto is a technology developer in ocean renewable energy. So what we do is actually we fly kites underwater. So this is the dragon that we have behind us here. It's a scale model of a megawatt machine that is on 1.2 megawatt and flying around in the Atlantic Sea producing electricity from the tidal streams and ocean currents. And how uh, long has this been in development? When did the idea first emerge and when was it actually first deployed actually in the ocean? So uh, Ministo is a spin-off originally from uh, Saab Aerospace. So this is an innovation uh, that has been developed for about 15 years. So um, what it does is that it's an underwater kite that flies uh, underwater to generate electricity from tidal streams and ocean currents. Okay, fantastic. And uh, is it commercial yet or is that the, the process you're undergoing is to bring it to commercialization and deploy what tens of thousands of these around the world? Is this the next step? Is this where you're going? And what do you need? Do you need money? Do you need more backing? What, what's, the, what's the journey from here? So last year we actually uh, deployed and installed uh, the first megawatt machine uh, in the Faroe Islands connected to the grid. So that is really, when you get up to megawatt sizes, you are, or will become relevant, right? So this is commercially viable and proven technology that we want to roll out globally. Uh, and we can see in front of us uh, thousands of these um, machines uh, connected to the grid around the world and um, unlocking really the potential in the ocean to create energy. Okay. So let's, let's go to our other guest uh, here because, um, I mean, this is a machine generating renewable energy and it has probably quite a few moving parts, but you're from a company that have developed for a very long time indeed, a kind of secret weapon or a, 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 secret, a secret because it's not seen, because it's in the machine, nobody can actually view it, right? But without it, this machine would be not performing perhaps as well, uh, might even not work. Uh, I mean, just, just tell us about it because I think the, the listeners uh, and the viewers will be quite surprised, but it's a very special piece of equipment, right? Uh, for sure. Uh, the bearing inside the kite is the same product that it uses in uh, like a China dental drill uh, and also in a big uh, megawatt wind turbines. And still they are invisible. Uh, but yet they are so, so important. If the bearings fail, the shafts won't uh, rotate and uh, the function will not be there. Right. So for, for the kite, it would mean that it will uh, produce less energy. And in worst case, also the kite will fail yeah. if the bearing fails. Yeah. So it is a crucial uh, part of the machine. I would say it's the most crucial part in the machine. Yeah. So, I mean, ball bearings, I mean, probably the bicycles that I rode as a child had ball bearings to smoothly allow the wheels to go around. Why? I mean, I understand you're a very large company in Sweden and, and you export ball bearings all over the world. Why did you get involved in this particular project? I mean, you obviously are a very thriving business, selling lots of ball bearings. So you could have said, oh, it's, you know, it's a small scale thing, you know, we're big. But you got involved in this as a company, and, and so why did you want to do it? Well, uh, Minesto approached us and asked for support, and we made a judgment whether it, it was a suitable uh, customer to work with, and uh, for sure it was. Their uh, technique and their development was really trustworthy, and uh, besides, 
also the Minesto invention, it fit perfectly with the, the SKF strategy, which is intelligent and clean growth. Right. So uh, it, it was a no-brainer for SKF to be right. involved with Minesto. Right. So what you're saying is that, that your company, in a sense, is very much part of the 21st century, uh, green, clean, climate action, you know, kind of present and future that we all need. There are other areas you're working in. Tell us about those. Well, we are working in uh, many areas that um, uh, support a sustainable future. Like in the energy sector, we are working with wind power, yeah. solar power, tidal and wave power. But we are also working with uh, special processes like uh, green steel making and also heat pumps. So we try to be present in all those areas that, can, that are focusing on a greener and more sustainable future. So in a sense, this is all about partnership, isn't it? Uh, just explain that a little bit to the viewers. So to scale up this new technology, it takes strong partnerships. That's really what it's all about. And uh, strong partnerships that could be investors, uh, suppliers, strategic suppliers like SKF uh, that we have here with us today, uh, and also government and, and policy. So uh, it takes strong partnerships to, uh, to reduce the risk and scale up this new technology and roll it out globally. Super. And, and I think it seems to me from all the research that um, it's not like there's not going to be demand. Uh, I mean, the International Renewable Energy Agency, I was looking at that and they did a 2023 report uh, which estimates the potential for clean energy from the oceans is like over 70,000 uh, terawatt hours, which is massive. I don't know how we translate that for the ordinary person, but let, let them be reassured that's a massive potential. And um, the current energy consumption around the world for normal energy, as it were, plus renewables, is about 30,000. So it's like more than double. The potential in the ocean is like more than double what we're actually requiring right now. So this is not going to go away, is it? We live on a blue planet and um, uh, when the sun does not shine and the wind does not blow, the ocean continues to stream. And uh, this is an untapped natural resource that we want to unlock, of course. Yeah. So yes, there is a great vast potential in the oceans. Super. Well, thank you very much. It's been a great pleasure to meet you both, to learn about what Monesto is doing, but also learn about this amazing contribution of ball bearings all right to the this venture and to so many other things so thank you very much indeed thank you